Well, the truth is that I'd rather be shooting pictures than cooking. So now you know. But if I must cook, then I want it to be delicious. Today I'm cooking frozen ham hocks. Unprocessed, frozen, right from the freezer. This ham hock, of course, has no nitrates or any other preservatives. It is just pure ham hocks. So, my sister gave me this machine and I am so glad she did. I love it. As an older person, of course, I don't like anything too complicated. And cooking to me ought to be fun, not complicated. Well, this machine tells you everything you need to do just by looking at it. It has a pressure cooking lid that's either open or closed. I like that. Open to put your food in and then you close it to cook it. And then everything that you need to know is written right there in front of you. In my younger days, of course, I had a pressure cooker. And those things, if you weren't too careful, would blow up in your face. This one, perfectly safe. All you have to do is set it and forget it. I am cooking ham hocks directly from the freezer, but before I do, I have to prepare it, obviously. And this is what I do to prepare my ham hocks for cooking. I place onions at the bottom of my cooker, because that's what I do. I like to place onions at the bottom of my cooker. I don't know why, really, but I've always done that. I don't want the f meat to touch the metal. Then I will put soy sauce all over the onions because that's what I do. My way. You'll have your own way. The idea is you make cooking fun. And that's what I try to impress upon others. Then of course after washing the ham hocks I put them at the bottom of the cooker, of the container, rather, and then I add salt and pepper. Remember, these ham hocks have not been smoked or had any preservatives of any kind added to them. Personally, I just don't believe that nitrates in food is good for you. I don't like processed food, that's a thing. I don't think food ought to be overly processed, do you? Anyway, these ham hocks are just plain old ham hocks. Now that the hard part is done, it's just a matter of putting on a pressure cooker, then down to pork, press the button, and because my ham hock was frozen, I simply moved the timer from the suggested 30 minutes to one hour. I put it on one hour because I want the meat to fall off the bone. And I know for a lot of people that's like being overcooked, but that's fine with me. So the simplicity is there. I simply twist the top of the lid to closed, punch pressure cooker, punch pork, punch the one hour, and punch that in there, and then I go and do something else. So when the yellow turns red, I know the cooking has started. So there you have it. It's that simple. It's actually easier than me telling you about it, really. So what I'd like you to do is to put your cursor over the video and then on the right hand side you will see some suggested pots like the one I used. I would strongly suggest that if you want a simple way to prepare meals, get one of these pots and you'll be glad you did. Because while it is cooking, you're free to do something else. And it's all done almost automatically for you. Thank you so much for watching my videos and bon appetit. Mm -hmm.